Hello, everybody. My name is Dude, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm starting off Shadowbringers, completely blind. When we last left off, things happened. Holy shit, that's a lot of experience gain right there. The Circus Trench! So where are we going here? Last I, last I saw, we needed to go to the Crystal Tower to find a beacon? Did we find the beacon? Oh. Good news, Phelan. We've had a stroke of luck in our search for that beacon. Yay. Good. Apparently, our colleagues have stumbled across a hidden path leading down into the hollows around the base of the Crystal Tower. So we can sneak into the tower from there, and then say hi to what's-his-face, the cat person who's probably been in there for way too long? Perhaps I doubt we'd even... we'd ever have found the ironworks in the sons... or sons... not added their numbers to the party. Thanks to them, we have eager eyes aplenty down there. Checking under a ro checking under rocks and peering into every nook and cranny. Still, it sounds like there's a lot of ground to cover. I'll say. Then we better go out and give them a hand, I guess. Like, do I want to stay cooped up in here? Yeah, my th Tataru thought so. The sooner we find this beacon, the sooner you can travel to wherever it is this mysterious voice is coming from. Oh yeah. And the sooner we can work out how to s how to help our friends. We have to find a way to wake them up, and before the Empire comes calling again. Meaning we have no time to lose. Yeah, we don't. There's a boat in North Silver Tier waiting to ferry people to the site. Let's so uh, let's be on our way. Ooh. Ooh! I hear guitar music. <laughs> I hear electric guitar. I see you're going with that motif. It's nice. Okay, I need to go... Where's that? Oh, it's still a Mordona. Okay. I'm way too used to quests taking you from one end of the world to the other, or like five areas over. So, I have to warp every fucking where. Come, car! In this fantasy setting. It still makes no sense. I have to wonder, though, when... When Noctis came to Eorzea, was that, like... One of the things that started the whole cross-world travel thing? Or was it... I'm sure it was one of the things, but... What about that short lady with all the magic and stuff, whose, uh, whose name escapes me. She was from Final Fantasy XI. The tiny person, who's like really cocky and speaks in rhymes. Heading to the survey site, madam, it's on the eastern shore of the lake, and the swiftest way to get there is by boat! Okay. Let's go by boat! Sounds pretty. It looks dead. Oh, Tataru. Do you speak now? So I don't have to read your voice lines. Or lines, rather. Ooh. We've got an important operation, I can see. Are we gonna dungeon? Just to get into the first? Where are we going, I wonder? Aside from underneath the Crystal Tower, and probably into the Crystal Tower. Look how many people there are! There we go! Should we get to it then? Pick up anything that seems the least bit device-like, and we'll make ourselves a pile. We're going to make hey, ourselves a- the hero of the hour! Maybe you'll change our look. we found bugger all without you. Why do you sound like Timmy Turner's dad, Biggs? They have lines now. Or did they have them before? Maybe we could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. Okay, I stand corrected. Biggs does not sound like Timmy Turner's dad Jesse a little bit. Call it the chief of some other business. So we'll be working twice as hard to make up for his not being here. Your voice doesn't really match your stout nature. Maybe stout is the wrong word. Huge? I don't know. Thrice as hard, even. Oh my! Oh, thank 
you, both of you. I'm sure we'll find that beacon in no time. Yeah, probably before the end of this episode. Just in time for a stream of nothing but first gameplay. I'm not seeing anything out here. Maybe we should find the. Maybe. No, thank you. You're tiny. It would work. I could try if you like. That too. Tataru, no. We couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, I'll be fine. Yeah, Tataru will be fine. I'm sure. Just you're just as short as she is. Wait, what? Wait, what? We found something. Did we? Did we? Did we find some? Ooh. What is that? Shall- Ooh! Sorry, I, I meant to say, the scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far in. Yeah, but what is that? Hmm. What's that you got there? I don't know, but it has a symbol of some kind, and it's no, probably important. Promising. Uh, isn't that the ironworks symbol? Counterfeiters? Or maybe... It's the beacon? Probably not. Whoa! Now, now I have you. What? You are right. What's happening? Oh, it's happening, isn't it? It's happening, isn't it? Focus on my voice. Why? Last I heard. Well. What? Wait, this must be it. The device. Well, this is supposed to happen. Yeah, but why didn't it happen to the others? <laughs> the gates that we may pass. Okay, number one, who the fuck are you? Find our friends and bring them home. On it! If the splitting headache can stop. Um. Am I in the first now, or am I gonna have to punch a crystal-armed man for having really bad timing from before? He's... I was in a war when he did this last time. Alright, I'm here, what the fuck do you want? Ooh, I'm now standing on absolutely nothing, okay. Cool. That's fine. Didn't need solid ground anyway. Other than the last time where I was on something. Whoa. Oh, I'm flying now. Cool. There's space? Time? Ooh. What? Oh, do not look at me so. They're... They're the dead people. That's Papalimo. That's... The other warrior of darkness. What would grabbing that have done? Just like... Probably wouldn't have saved anyone. What? Is that all the people we lost? Who's that? Minfilia? Minfilia. Yep. Calling it now. Definitely Minfilia. Oracle of Light. Well, okay. Minf Oracle of Light Minfilia, but not Minfilia Minfilia. Close enough. Not really. Whoa. Did we go black and white film? Should should I change the color of my camera to reflect this, or are we gonna get color back soon? We're kind of getting it back. Okay, just a little bit. Who's that? That's is that the axe guy? Is that... That's the Warrior of Darkness. Like, the one from, I think, Heaven's Ward? 
that we fought. Is he alive? Is he gonna kill us? Please say no. I don't want him to kill us. I don't want to have to fight him again. Can we just be friends now that we're like, you know, not sharing a common en not not sharing a common enemy? What am I th trying to say? Now that we're like kind of not in the same world, maybe we could save two worlds now. I don't know. This world's rather pretty. But, uh... From endless dreams I awake. What? Ugh. We look like we've had better days. And woken up in better days. Better ways. Yet urgent calls me to action once more. Um, what? Are we being narrated by a guy? Or is that just someone recalling events? Hello, Chocobo. Everything's purple. Except the Chocobo. Maybe we should go see that camp? See what's going on? Maybe we should just say hi and not alert him randomly. Wait. You! You're the guy! Who I met at the very, very beginning of the game. Dare to meet someone out here who's not a peddler himself. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? Okay, never mind. You're not the same guy, but you definitely look like him. Nice callback. But it's bright as day. It is bright as day. <laughs> Ain't the oldest joke in the book. My granddad, God's rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman at kicking out time. Uh, what? Also, and is everyone Irish here? Tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk yet, he'd reply. Oh, night with an N and not a K. Yeah. Okay, that's what he meant. When they said that in the trailer, I thought they meant with a K. It's like, when's the last time we got a dark night? Alright then. Um. Well, at least our introduction to this world is still the traveling peddler. I do mean it. Who you did the cool beggar. That explains it then. Beggar? Excuse you. I'm ready to kill things if I need to, and I don't drink that often. You can if you want, but that's your business. Roads to travel and wares to sell, but you, you best hurry along to the town nearby. Which direction do I go? Just head east through the trees and aim for the Shining Tower. You'll find the place soon enough. Shining Tower. Got it. Settlement for miles Can do. Go on now, friend. They'll take good care of you in the Crystarium. Okay. Thank you. Traveling merchant who I've definitely not met once before. Though I kind of have. Does the other one sound exactly like you? Or is this just real huge coincidence that you look alike? Ooh. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing the bop. I'm hearing the bop. To dizzying heights it rises. The gleaming spire. Its tip threatening to pierce the blinding canopy. Wait. I don't think he said that before. There, it will all begin anew. Between dark and light. The pure and the corrupt. The one true struggle. Yeah, I don't think he said that before. Then again, I could be entirely wrong.
Ah, uh, we don't get the little guy in the background with the sword like that. I guess that's just the title screen. Alright, so, tower. Now, what kind of enemies do we have, I wonder? Ooh, there's level scaling? Fort Job. Eh, nice. Is this a rather enemyless area, or am I just going the wrong way? So, why are there defenses? Well, I know why there's defenses, but, like, I haven't seen the enemies yet, so I don't know how to gauge the threat level. Whoa. Cutscene already? Okay, fine. Okay. Probably gonna find an enemy just to showcase the whole problem. Oh. Hello. You're a bunny. I've never seen you before. This isn't gonna be really awkward, is it? Because, like, I'm a cat, you're a bunny, and... Yeah, because I'm not from the city? This is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. Okay. Uh... Flaylin of Eorzea. To seek the Holy Grail and blue. Can you let me in? Okay, fine. I'll answer your questions. From where do you hail? Eorzea. I guess, well, either one's probably gonna confuse the fuck out of people, but... Ulda. That actually is true. She did start in Ulda. for a fool? No such place exists. No such place as the Crystarium exists either, but you don't see me complaining. Had you given me an honest answer, I would not have barred your way. I we did give you an honest answer. Place of origin, but instead, you chose concealment. And I will not suffer you to pass. So if I had said the source, you would have let me go? Ooh. Oh. What? So I'm in a different world then. Okay. What's that? that one it must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. What? Ring. Oh shit! That's the guy. Well, yeah, I just proved it, but, like... That's not good. Everything all right, Captain? Wait, what? Wait, what? You. Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater, and a weak one at that. I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. You. I have problems with you. And several hundred thousand bones to pick with you. I will escort her to the Crystarium myself, if you've no objections. She objected earlier. I think that objection still stands, and you should probably. I don't know uh, if your mysterious oh. friends, is it? I should have known. Mysterious friends. So is this a regular occurrence, or is this just like? Okay. Cause no trouble. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest of your stay with us be a pleasant one. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me cause no trouble outsider. Which I was going to not do anyway, but come with me. I will answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. Okay, fine, whatever. I s can I punch you in public though? Because I really want to. Not gonna lie. Still very pissed about that war. That you just kind of pulled me out of. It's not cool. It's not cool. Right then. Before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. I didn't have much of a choice, did I? You kind of stole my friends, I so to bring you down yeah. To my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. That you're still able to make the crossing unharmed is a great relief. Well, my aim's off too. Slightly, so, though, come to the question of where, 
It is a very, very large understatement. Okay. Having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. Okay. Is that just who you are, or is there something you're not telling me? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused? An inkling. Oh. It is here forced my hand. But all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. An inkling, do you? An inkling. I could uh give you more of an inkling if you'd like. And by that I mean I'm going to punch you in the face repeatedly, screaming exactly what you've done. So maybe don't do it next time. Consumed by primordial light. What does that mean? It began a century ago. Oh wait, yeah, right. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. More than nine tenths of this star was lost. Oh. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Hmm. Sin. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. Okay, so don't get eaten by a Sin Eater. Got it. Why do they call them Sin Eaters, though? Unless Sin is supposed to be darkness in some form. And since the concept of Sin is supposed to exist in all of us, I guess that makes sense? I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. Well, you luck. You, you made a mistake there. He brought me along. You would bring salvation to the source as well. So if I had said the source, that would have been incorrect then, wouldn't it? But what manner of host harangues his guests? No, that would be correct because I come from the what I consider the source. But who would the source be otherwise? I don't know. I don't know. Well, this place is gorgeous, but also very, like... Uh... <sighs> the doggo won't stop barking. Can I just go in now, please? Can I, can, can I just go fight a thing and see what a Sin Eater looks like and fights like? I got blades that need blood. I thirst for blood. I want to fight. Oh, I guess we're just still getting an intro. Well, I guess we'll do fighting on whatever stream already probably happened, but I'm... Just, I'm rather invested in this, actually. Ooh. So is everything here crystal? Such a proud and vibrant city. Uh-huh. I can see that. The soul sanctuary for the living in a world all but resigned to oblivion. It seems like it's not being run by oblivion now. The town itself a symbol. A monument to defiance in the face of death. Did a good job there. No would be hero. among us does not yearn for salvation. True. Are those the Amalja? The big buff guys tending to the chocobo? Not the chocobo. Whatever they are. The big buff thing, bird things. Those are some buff birds. I want to meet them. Where are they? Where are they at? Are they over here? Look like they were over here. Oh, 
You look like a Malja. Yeah, you're a Malja. You are a visitor of the Crystarium. Feel free to monitor the Rookery, but keep an eye on the Amaro. Some of them bite. You are the nicest Amalja I've met! Hi! I like you. Well, I like you too. You do get a fair amount of people coming by to observe or pet the Amaro. The Arnaro. Is that an N? That's an... I, I'm going to assume that's an M. I don't mind, and neither do we, though. Know that if you stand around long enough, I will put you to work. Okay, yeah, I, I can admire that. That's fine. I'll stop standing around for so long, but these guys look so... Buff and kind of cute. I want to pet one. I want to pet one. A little bit behind its left horn. I mean, I know I pointed to the right, but whatever. They're cute. In a scary kind of way. But they're cute. I want to see one. What's over here? Looks like... A garden. Definitely a garden. I see pumpkins. I don't know what that is. Probably a lemon tree? Lemon tree, yep. Called it. What is this? I guess some roots, some just basic flowers. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe they have a healing property. Or for alchemical purposes. It's nice. Alright, I'm here, Exarch. Ooh, white oak weapon coffer. What do I get from this? What can I get from this, I wonder? What? What? Ooh, it's better than my current set. And... Let's take a look at these. Ooh! Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice! I like it. I'm keeping it, sir. Well, sorry that this episode didn't have any combat or anything very interesting other than the intro, but I... I... I'm fine with that. I'm gonna play more of this on stream. <laughs> I'm gonna continue the story later on stream, but like... I am, I am, I cannot wait to have a field day with this game. I am hyped. I am ready to explore. That's a magic bucket. I want to pet one of those bird things. I should probably attune to the Seath right. But, uh, before I, <laughs> did I, Aether right is not responding. Well, shit, I can't attune yet. I guess I gotta continue with the story. I'll do that much at least, and then we'll continue on with the everything. But in the meantime, thank you guys for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shrone Leviel for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird for supporting me on Twitch. And you, if you wanted to see what happens next, you'll be... there. There's a stream VOD probably up. I'm streaming this tonight as of this recording, but as of... This video's posting, it's probably like a few days in the past, so just go watch the stream VOD if you really want. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!